In this video, we are going to discuss about the standards based on ITIL. The, what is the first standard derived from ITIL and what is the current standard given by ISO. So coming to the standards, the first standard which is derived from ITIL is BS1500 and 0 and afterwards in 2002 it got amended and divided into two parts. The first part is specification which is the standard version and the second part is code of practice which is implementation for the basic standard. So coming in 2007 when I also give a standard specific standard for ITIL is 20000. So after this we are going to discuss about why to refresh ITIL version 2. So why to refresh ITIL version 2 is the necessity to accommodate the inputs from which we got from the globe. That means when version 2 implemented what are the inputs what we got from all over the globe and also the V2 approach is practical, rational which became necessary in version 2 and moreover it got concentrated on service support and service delivery. Here it gave less attention towards relationship management with partners that means when our client is given us some SLS we also give some SLS to our partners to provide us a service which we cater to the client. So here that is getting lacked. So in detail we are going to discuss about the differentiation between version 2 and version 3. So coming to version 2 and version 3 you can see the major differences that version 2 is process oriented and version 3 is life cycle based approach. That means when we got a service disruption take an internet service provider when we do not get internet in our homes or offices we call up the service desk and we raise a ticket or incident with them that the service got interrupted. So from there the ticket has to get open, the ticket has to be in work in progress, the ticket has to be in pending, the ticket has to be in resolved and the ticket has to be closed. So this is a life cycle approach which, which gives a better understanding for the IT organizations and the clients to know what exactly the service is getting catered to them. And so coming to the version 2 which focused on products, processes and people, the three P's what we call in IT industry. But here it focuses on partner as well including the all the three P's which we discussed in version 2. So coming here the security management is available only but here the security management is a separate process in version 3. So coming here to version 2 again it more concentrated on service delivery and service support but in ITL v3 we see that equal attention is given to all the processes. So here we have 10 processes plus 1 function in version 2 and in version 3 we see 20 processes and 4 functions that means another 10 processes and 3 functions got added to it and it is I, and here in version 2 IT and business are aligned on each other but here in version 3 they are integrated that means there is a transparency of see through between IT I mean processes and the business processes here. 